it's called a Wi-Fi um, repeater extender. Um, this is from me, Wi-Fi repeater too. So um, I got this on Amazon for I think you can get this for like ten to thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars. Um, there's really no point spinning so much more for this guy here because I had a feeling that um, Tello Rise or DJI probably gonna come up with a controller or a transmitter that will give you a better range and better signal for your Wi-Fi. So there's really no point. So I just got this. This is what I got it for um, for uh, low price, and I'm gonna see if it's actually work. I've seen a lot of people been using this on other drones, but I'm gonna tell you guys, um, I'm just using this for give a good feed to a Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna use this extender for long range because you only got you only got 13 minutes with this guy here, and flying this far away, you couldn't even see it. If you see some of my videos. Um, I actually got that um, you can only see Tello around because it's so tiny about not even 50 meters about maybe around like 30 away you know 30 meters away distance so if you put this to a 50 to a 60 to a 100 this thing is you depending on the, the transmitter on or, or live feed or something I don't know but anyway um, the reason why I got this just to see if it's gonna give me a better signal. I'm already knowing my iPhone 10 is giving me a better signal far away, but they're also the reason why I got this because my Samsung here needs help. <laughs> my S8 um, Plus, I figured out that this thing can't really, with this guy here, the range is very limited, you know, or it will lose signal. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this right here. And go from there and also um, I got this one here you can modify it yourself if you have like a little skinny um, battery bank um, I think this one right here you can just mount it this way and um, there you go and then you can just mount it to your phone see right here and then you got your extender that way or I also made another one here this one right here you can have this for your GoPro whatever you have and then you can use this here and you can just be at the field and then you can just leave it like that you know and then you go to go or you can you can just have it this way whatever you want to do it at but for me I'm probably just gonna do it like this <laughs> Just to see how the range is because I don't like anything on my phone I mean you know Wi-Fi extender is supposed to be right there with you but um also I went on YouTube and man people out there trying to <laughs> doing tutorial on this thing is horrible <laughs> I'm not saying you know just the fact that you can't really find an English version that actually does it there's people out there trying to you know do a tutorial on this uh, Wi-Fi extender to, to the phone. It's really, a, you know, they, 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 they're actually speaking English and everything and trying to get everything done for you. But when they have into the app, <laughs> they have a Chinese version. I'm like, what the heck? So um, anyway, I'm going to get to that for you guys. And I will show you how exactly this works because it's really confusing, man. Even me I confused the hell at me on this. And... Um, and also, that's the reason why I didn't really buy the, um, a controller. I don't really need a controller for the Tello because, uh, or a Bluetooth one because I'm using two different phones all the time. And with the Bluetooth, um, for this guy here, controller, it's so limited, you know, you can only use the iPhone or Android and be based on that. I just don't even need it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see how this is all about and see, is, you know, is it worth it? I mean, you know, 
if any good. So I'm gonna put it to the range, I'm gonna put it to the tests, see how far can this thing handle. And if this guy here will turn signal, cause I already know around a hundred distance meter, this guy here, um, the Wi-Fi is getting, you know, delayed. And I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. But like I said, I don't, you don't, for my recommendation, I would not, <laughs> remember this thing got no GPS and you don't want to depend on this guy coming back to you. And especially if you're going to um, puddles or, you know, flying through waters to lake, they're gonna have currents. And then next thing you know, you know, whatever that current is going that direction, this guy here is gonna follow that direction because it depends on the vision sensor. So he's gonna detect from the ground. But this guy can handle strong winds. You can see my videos. And go from here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. See if this thing really works. So thank you and I really do appreciate it.